god, what is going on? I made a transform- <gasps> Is it gonna work? Oh my god, please tell me this thing attaches back normal. Um, yeah, this is not gonna work, right? <gasps> what the fuck did I just build? Get that Welcome back everybody to some more Polybridge. Now you guys, holy crap did you ever support this game. I asked for like 600 likes on the first video if you guys wanted to see more, and it's at like 2,200 right now or something crazy. I think that's one of my most liked videos ever, so thank you guys so much for your support. Uh, of course we're gonna play more of this because this is really enjoyable for me, and I'm glad to hear that it's really enjoyable for you as well. Now I did download a few Steam Workshop levels. Now, let's keep in mind this game isn't even released yet, so this is probably people like me who are just testing it out. Um, uh, I don't know if these are going to be good at all. No idea. We're going to try it though and see what this uh, workshop is all about. Okay, so we got one car down here, and then it looks like one car up there. I can't even really see it. Okay. Uh, okay, you can zoom out. Look at that. Okay, so we got to bring up. Interesting. I got, I got to build two bridges to one place. I don't even know how that's going to work. I, I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do uh, something like this, and then uh, just a little jump. I don't even really need a jump, but why the hell not? Because, uh, I guess I could just, like, make it fall off, but then it might flip. Let's just do a little jump there. That should work just fine. Now I need to attach these together and then attach them onto something else as well. There is cables now. There's hydraulics. There's everything that we need. Uh, steel should be just fine. But there's no attachments down here, so I don't really know how I can do this. Okay, I'm just, uh, essentially strengthening these, these bridges onto each other. I don't really know if this will help too much, but... Uh, we're gonna try this out here. I'm just gonna do this and this again totally guessed. Let's see if it works Oh wow that actually held up sweet. Okay. I am actually gonna jump on my co Oh my god. Are you serious? They go at the exact same time. How am I supposed to do this? Okay, I'm actually just gonna fall over a right now I was hoping I could jump over it, but I don't think that's possible. Uh, so we're gonna do two bridges here and that works. I mean, it's, it's not it's not the best way. I was hoping I could do an epic jump over the other one, but they go at the same speed, so even if you do jump, you're gonna jump right on top of it. Uh, pretty cool idea, though. I like the two cars at the same time with two different bridges. Okay, we're gonna try some ice cream crossing here. Uh, is this... Okay, again, guys, early version of... I don't even... Is this even a level? Did he just make this and put this online? Of course he did. Wow. Epic. So yeah, that's all for Steam Workshop right now. Not too much. We're gonna go back to the- Oh, didn't mean to go to the sandbox mode. This is- I mean, I mean, I guess I can show this. This is the sandbox mode. So there is a creator in this game where you can create your own maps, upload them to the workshop. We'll get more into that in later episodes. Right now, I just want to actually do some gameplay. But there is a level editor for you guys who do like to do some level editing. Anyways, I swear I, I hit that campaign button. It to hit like higher or something? It's not perfect. Okay, we are currently on the world one still. There's actually a lot more worlds if I figure out how to get to them again. Oh yeah, next world desert wins and then next world is locked. I believe there's about a hundred levels so, you know, we are still very early into the game as well as there's gonna be a lot of modded levels when this game comes out. By the way, it comes out I believe on the 30th so for the people asking in the comments, it isn't even out yet. That's why you can't purchase it but it will be out in the, in the coming days. Okay, so we got a 14 meter slanted drawbridge with a scooter and a car. Interesting. Okay, we're gonna do something like that, I think, and then that should just draw the br bridge up. Um, do we want to just keep... I guess we'll just keep going like that. It's not... I don't like that it's not straight, but what... I think this is gonna work. Um, I gotta do a draw bridge here, though. Okay, with this bridge we have two steel beams we can use, so I think I'm gonna use... Uh, maybe I don't want to do that. I think I want to use my steel beams over here because it's gonna have the most stress on it because I don't have any sort of foundation down here. Um... But yeah, I only get two steel beams, so I gotta strategically use those, as well as the hydraulics, of course. Okay, I think I am gonna actually use the steel beams over here, because they are so long, I can directly attach to that and then build off of that. Maybe I can actually... I don't know... No, I'm not gonna be able to get all the way down there, unfortunately. I don't know where I should put this other steel beam. I could do it over here, but I gotta remember the boat has to go through here, so I don't really know what I can do. Okay, we're adding a lot of triangles, triangular structures here. As you can see, you can start seeing where it starts to break. Right there, that, that that's the weak zone right now. I gotta figure out how to get this weak zone up more. So I've been trying to battle that, but every time I add this, there's another weak zone. So we're gonna see right now. There we go, that broke. 
That's okay though. Oh, you can see it's oh, I, this game has great physics. All right, we're gonna strengthen these by we still have a lot of budget, so we're gonna strengthen these by adding these little triangle things here. I believe this one was the one that went. So we're gonna try those two. Let's see what happens here. Still breaking right down there. Uh, this car. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> Are you serious? How the fuck am I supposed to keep this up? And it knocked the fucking thing off too. It's too short. Oh my god, I have to totally restart. It knocked- even if I get this thing to work, it knocked my damn road off. Are you serious? You're just gonna go anyways? Oh my god. I didn't notice that there's an actual hold point over here. So that's new. Um, I can do a drawbridge then. I was actually just gonna try and build a bridge above this. But I think I can do a drawbridge then now that I have a hold point over here. Okay, this one seems a little bit more structurally stable. Again, I didn't know I had this point over here, so I added the one cord that I had, or what, what are they actually called? Cables, sorry. Um, that I actually had to keep that stable. Um, this should hold up. I don't know if this is still high enough. These hydraulics are the biggest issues because it, they tend to hit the sides of these. Uh, but yeah, I use my two metal beams down here. This should be... Okay, yeah, it is structurally stable. This is a bit flimsy here. I could have added some more to it, but as long as that car gets across and this boat doesn't hit these, I should be fine, because this guy's a lot lighter than a car, I'm going to assume. Okay, please, you are a big fucking boat. Seriously. Oh my god. This is so frustrating. Please, Evil Knievel, do the jump. Please do the jump. Come on. Oh my god. This is not, yeah, this is not going to end well. This is... <laughs> I mean, you'd think looking at this, that's more than enough room to cover that gap. But no, it's not. And you know what's most annoying about this game and the one complaint I have? There's no, like, actual delete button. Like, I can't just delete this. I need to undo and undo and undo. And don't get me wrong, I love the squeakies, but I need to go all the way back to here or I need to demolish the whole thing to uh, get back to it. So that's one of the biggest downfalls of this because once you screw up once, and it's, if it's at the starting of your build, you gotta go all the way back, get rid of all your designing, just to get back to that one point. And of course I did this right at the start. Okay, so now I gotta go back to the drawing board from here. I can actually use four hydraulics, so maybe I want to hydraulic these to something like that. Then they really open up. Um... I don't know, let's try it. Fuck it. Okay, we're getting a bit more complex now. I don't... Oh, wow, that actually holds up. Okay, this is where it might fall apart. Ooh! This might be good. This might be good. I, I do not know... I do not know if this is gonna work. Oh, yeah, that is opening right up. Please don't break the... Look at that! Look at that! Four hydraulics! I'm, I'm actually impressed with my engineering skills there. Um, because that was my first try with that new idea. And assuming these things go back down flawlessly, which as they should... I did it! I did a double, uh, uh, sorry, a quad hydraulic drawbridge. Interesting. And it worked just fine. Yes! That's rewarding! I love this game! Okay, what's this? These are getting fucking hard. What's in that? A two part bridge. Um, I got a station wagon and a city car, and the only thing I have is wood. So we gotta attach a bridge to this and attach a bridge down to there. Got it. This shouldn't be too bad. This is just building two bridges at once, essentially. Okay, my first bridge is very basic. I think that should be it. I might need to... You know what? I should probably reinforce the bottom just in case. Uh, because if I run into any issues, it's just so much easier to do it this way. Uh, can I attach this? Yes, I can. So we're just going to do this really quickly. Um, this will definitely hold up now. As, as, as long as you put some sort of triangular structures down here, you should be okay. There we go. Okay, I think that should officially be good. I can do an above thing if I need to, but that's a lot of support down here. I think it should be okay. There we go. Look at that. Assuming... Oh, it's two cars at once, so that is heavy load. This one might not be good for that. <gasps> Actually, first try! Look at that! Yes! I have, I have figured out the success to bridge building. Build lots of triangles. Max joint stress was only 57%, so we could have almost doubled that load. And we only used 16,000 of... Well, I guess that's a lot of the budget used, to be honest. Uh, let's go on to the next one, though. Whoa, this is a new vehicle unlocked. A school bus. We have 48,000, and materials are only wood. Oh, fuck, man. This is going to be a huge bridge. 
Like seriously, hold on here, hold the front. Are you a wooden bridge this far? Okay, well, and we're and we're we're bringing a bus too. That's just adds to it. Okay, we got two joints here, so I'm gonna spread this joint out, kind of like a tr the roots of a tree going this way, and we're gonna spread this joint out going this way. So I've spread both out, kind of like a tree. Now I just gotta attach them together with a bunch of triangles here. Um. <laughs> There's really no science to this, the, to my method anyways. Just try and build as many supports as you can with the budget that you have. That's really it. Okay, let's see if it works. Wow, are you serious? <laughs> All that work. Alright, we're gonna have to start building above the top. Um, hopefully this will make it go. I do not know though. Um, if this doesn't work, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do because we're gonna hit our budget soon here. There's a fine line with bridge building. Building supports is obviously important, but you start building so many supports that you add too much weight to the structure. I think that's what I did here. I kind of just went balls to the wall, and unfortunately, that designed this thing. The, the, the spider web bridge, if you will. Um, if this doesn't work... Oh, fuck. We're already actually over budget. Shit. Um, let me actually try and go under budget here and just see what happens. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just try it. Oh, man, you can see it started breaking right there. That, that that was the weak spot. See, the first break was right there. Um, I think I should just probably restart and see what else I can do here. Okay, so this time I tried to go a bit more lighter here. I made a major structure in the middle because that's where most of the weight is going to focus. And then I just spread this out a little bit. I'll add more out here if I need to, but I think this might be okay. I'm not certain. Um... But I think this might be okay, and then of course I added some top structural integrity as well. Let's see. Okay, that at least holds up. I don't think it's gonna... Oh, these things are actually... Yeah, okay, there we go. So there's a, there's a weak point right in the middle of these things right around here. So that means I just gotta build these some more. Okay, I'm gonna add a structure like that. Just something light. I just wanna see how, how much this helps. You can see these are actually loose, so that's a little worrisome. He did make it across though, so that's really all I needed. I'm gonna need to do one over here too, probably. Yeah, you can see it goes weak right there. So I gotta still gotta do essentially this thing over here as well, and we should be okay. That was actually a very difficult bridge to build, just by how epic the size was, and the fact that I only had to use wood. Okay, let's see. That's, that's a little better. I don't like that these are loose though, it worries me. Um, this one's fine though. The middle one should be fine, and this should hold up, hopefully, to the end. I'm not certain, though. No. Uh, there we go. Oh, man, it's still a little weak at the at the tip here. Just the tip, you motherfucker. Okay. Um, let's do that. Let's actually add some rigidity up here as well. I don't even know if rigidity is a word, guys. I'm sorry I'm, I'm using stupid words. Okay, that should be good. I, oh, come on, I can't... These damn wooden things you can't go very far with, which is annoying. That should be okay, though. Um, that might add too much weight, though. That's what I'm worried about. And still, these are so loose. Ugh. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yes! I did it! Oh my god, thank god. And we are at 39000 so we saved $10,000. Max stress run was 94.4%, so we just made it 5% under. But that was fucking intense, man. Let's keep going here. Okay, we got a budget of $32,000, surfer van, and a tugboat, of course, with materials wood, steel, and piston. So we do have some steel... How many steel beams do we have this time? We have road 7. Uh, do I have to do a jump? If I only have 7 roads, that... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Okay, that's enough. But I gotta go right straight. So I think I gotta do my hydraulic thing again, where I pull them all the way back. Okay, we have unlimited steel. This is new. This is interesting. I like this. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a draw bri a bridge all the way up to... Uh, should I go here and then just go straight up? Yeah, and then I'm gonna pull it back to here. Okay, I think I got this. I'm gonna build these up here, add some... I hope hydraulics have un unlimited size. Oh, shit, they are, they are limited. Okay, so we actually don't need these as high as that, so let's do that again. Um, let's do that about this high. There we go. This should be okay. Um, add some hydraulics to this bad boy. The problem is, that's probably not going to be enough when I attach these hydraulics as well. Uh, we're going to add a split joint right here. Actually, that should be enough. To be honest, that should be enough. I don't know even why I put these steel beams here. Who the hell cares? We're at 17000 Again, steel is really expensive, so I don't think I should need any more of it. I should probably just go back to wood structures here. Uh, try and stabilize this a bit. Let's see how this does. I'm curious. Oh fuck, that is way too heavy in the middle. Oh wait, I didn't. A I didn't attach this to anything, and I think I need to. I don't know. Do I need to? 
I'm a little confused now because if I attach this, they're just gonna break. Like, well, let's just let's just try this here, see what happens. Oh, oh God! What is going on? I made a transform. Is it gonna work? Oh my God! Please tell me this thing attaches back normal. Um, yeah, this is not gonna work, right? What the fuck did I just build? Oh my God! Oh my God! What the fuck? That was like that was that was like the ostrich version of a bridge. You know how their legs go the opposite way. I just I, I, I gotta I gotta see that I gotta see that again. I don't know what the hell. Uh oh, did I break it? I wanted to see it again. What? Oh shit! I broke. This game is a bit buggy, by the way. Oh god, we got two songs going on now. I think I'm gonna have to reload the whole game, and I hope it saved it because we're we're gonna have a hard time if it didn't. Actually, guys, upon editing the footage, I've realized that we are pretty much at a full episode right now. So I'm going to end this one here, guys. We did, in fact, save our progress. We're on the final level of the first world, so that will happen next time. And then we'll get into Desert Winds. Should be fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching and liking, and I will see you in the next one. Hey, this is just a quick message thanking you for watching my video. I hope it gave you literally minutes of enjoyment. If you want to see more, I've added playlists and videos like this one at the top right of your screen. If you want to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or directly support me, all my social media and Patreon links are in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and liking. I'll see you in the next one.